Hello, hello everybody! How are you doing this evening? It's really good to see you all. Oh shit, let me change it so I've got a transparency again. Give me just a second. Uh, color picker, and then make it green. There we go. How's everybody doing tonight? Bob! Bob, I am worried about you, Bob. Bob, I am shocked. Shocked, I tell you, that they have not yet installed or found, like, a temporary sunshade that can move along with roofers on a roof. It's, uh... It's really nuts, man. Um, I hope you're doing okay out there. Remember, hydration's three days out, Bob. You stay safe, my friend. Uh, oh, let's see. It's time to start. Yeah, you're damn right it is. Is everybody okay? Can you hear me out there? How are the audio levels? Is the music too low, too high? Did you guys miss me? Uh, let's see here. You guys had a lot of fun stuff to talk about before this, but uh, uh, it's mostly past now. Can you guys not hear me? I'm not seeing it. Did chat die? You're all dead. Chat! Chat! What happened, chat? Chat! I'm going to refresh my page in case it died or something, because, like, very suspiciously, right when I uh, suspect that my mic should have gone on, everything stopped working. Are you guys, have you guys not been getting me this whole time? It's good. No. No, Dindu can't hear me. All right, well, that's up to you at this point, honestly. Hey, guys, there's uh, there's 20 of you here. Thank you so much for stopping by. 12 likes before we even got started. I really appreciate you guys. You know I'm going to be bringing you the stuff you like. Uh, if you've been watching my news thread, there's actually a brand new piece of news. Uh, we've got one of these, uh, well, you'll see. Hold on. Let's go to the newsroom. So here's what we got, folks. Uh, quote, rest in power, says the Black Hammer Times. Don't worry, we're going to be looking into Black Hammer Times and who Black Hammer is. But anyways, uh, in a targeted attack by the Fayetteville Police Department, SWAT and the FBI on the headquarters of the Atlanta chapter of the Black Hammer Party, Black Hammer's Minister of Defense, AP, was shot and killed. Uh, this apparently happened uh, just a few hours ago. So, uh, one of the most luminous, bright, and charismatic, real, humble, and inspired young people in Atlanta and in the whole world. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll be looking into this, chat. We'll be looking into this. Oh, nope. Could have guessed that. I'm sorry. My bad. Should have guessed that all these are going to be full of rap music on purpose. Uh, yup. So this is his little memorial page. We'll roll through that here in a minute. We'll go through it. Heard, you can hear me. Skeleton gloves. Yeah, man, it's going to be a thing. We're thinking about it. We're thinking about it. It's going to be a thing. Fayetteville, North Carolina seems to be it. Yes, that's correct. So uh, we're going to do this a little searching. So first of all, who are the Black Hammer Times? Well, you see, they're an anti-colonial org dedicated to getting their land back. Email them at blackhammer.org. Of course, they've got the Cash App donation as well. Which Fayetteville? Well, it's time to look into it. I would suggest probably uh, Georgia, but I'm not positive. Let's find out. Oh, uh, of course, it's, it's the one in Hammer City chat. Hammer City. So Fayetteville, Hammer City, of course. Uh, so Atlanta. So this would have been Fayetteville, Georgia, one would assume. Uh, become more politically educated. He saw his life was interconnected with colonized people around the world. He fought for the liberation of African indigenous Asian people, blah, blah, blah. Uh, as Minister of Defense. Ah, yes. He ensured that the chapters of the Black Hammer Party kept their resource distribution to the homeless as safe as possible and showed the importance of self-defense to comrades. Comrades. Communists. Garbage. Although, understandable how a homeless youth could fall prey to something like this. A revolutionary leader made and in the making. Mmm. I see. Clothed and fed hundreds of homeless. Yes. 
that that's totally what that picture makes me think of when I see someone do a spread like that. Uh, glorify villainous people. Yeah, no, literally, literally, it's one of the, it's one of their things. Um, uh, yes, I'm sure that people feel safer because of uh, a communist organization. Uh-huh. I've got some sources doing some digging. Uh, we've got a bunch of other stories to cover. I just thought this was important. Uh, so yeah, I wanna I wanna know more about the uh, the FBI raid on that uh, on that organization. It'd be very interesting to uh, to discover what uh, the FBI might have might have thought they might find there. Hmm, it's very interesting, you know. I mean, the FBI doesn't raid just anybody. Uh, and in fact, they uh, they have to have some kind of serious stuff here. So here's a here's a picture a friend of mine or a, a video a friend of mine has. Uh, so apparently this is uh, the the beginning of the Black Hammers building a base, which was a fifty thousand dollar single board on land they trespassed on. Ah, and that might be why the uh, the FBI and the local police raided it, is that they may have been building on land they uh, they did not in fact own. Ah, how many hours on that first board, eh? Very nice. Very nice, John. We're going to go through some of this. Uh, how's my day been? TR Greater Rex, it's been good, but uh, not as good as yours. It sounds like you're going to be headed to Anime Matsuri, my friend. Uh, enjoy yourself, and uh, remember, when you meet Rikeda, remember to tell him uh, that you're very glad that he's your second favorite YouTuber behind this crazy guy, the Watcher on the Web, uh, whom whom Rikeda should think about trying to collab with sometime. <laughs> I'm just kidding, dude. Have a fucking great time. Uh, what else are you going to go do when you're there? Do you know? Like, how, uh, like, is it a big trip or is it a short trip? And, and are you going to go visit other things or is it just straight to Matsuri and straight home? Yeah, they totally forgot the cardboard chat. What amateurs? Look at these amateurs. God. They should know if they want anything to grow, it's cardboard first. Where did, where is this? This looks like this looks like uh, this looks like the southwest somewhere. It's like sagebrush. Huh. The Benny Hill song is just who? Uh, it's it sounds like he got what he deserved. Well, we'll find out. Who knows? We we don't want to pass judgment too quickly. We'll look into who the Black Hammer Party is. We're gonna we're gonna look into a little more about what my friends have found here. Uh, here we go. Here's one. Ah, so here was one that uh, that got posted directly under this. Now I don't know who Gazi is, right? But it says, do not allow Ghazi to profit off this man's death. Do not give funds to this organization. They do not put the money towards what they claim they do. Please stand with the victims seeking justice against Ghazi's abuse. Warning! The Black Hammer organization is a violent cult. Huh. Hmm. 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 Chat. Let's, uh, let's just save this on another screen here real quick before we, uh, before it disappears, shall we? Black Hammer Cult. Dot PNG. Yeah, there we go. This cult has been aggress uh, has been using aggressive tactics to extort money and recruit unsuspecting victims. They are active in the downtown area, including GSU, ACU, Georgia Tech, and Woodruff Park. Do not accept any offers of free housing at the cult compound. Most recently located at 20 Selwyn. Center, uh, Fayetteville, Georgia. They may kidnap you. This is not an exaggeration. They have done it before. How Black Hammer will lie to you. Can you donate Dindu 
Uh, you want to donate to Black Hammer? I mean, I mean, if you want to. Uh, watch her on the web. Maybe do the Space Center and hit the Ozarks on the drive back. But kind of a short trip. Uh, got your CDL school starting mid-August. Hell yeah, brother! Look at that! Guys, TR Greater Rex out here, uh, about to, uh, get his CDL. About to get out on the roads making some serious money for his family. Making new skills, always going to be useful. Very unlikely. Well, I mean, like, they're going to, uh, they're going to eventually replace that with robot drivers, but, uh, it is not nearly as soon as people think. Uh, so, uh, yeah, no. Highly, highly needed skill right now. Highly paid skill right now, I believe, as well. Uh, I, unfortunately, cannot pursue that for, uh, personal reasons. But I, I, I salute the hell out of you, man, TR Greater Rex. I think that's fantastic. I hope you keep watching when you're on the road, my friend. I hope we could uh, give you a little slice of slice of home life when you're uh, when you're out on the road through your. Uh, make sure you get an unlimited connection. All right, you're gonna need that. Indeed, it does sound like some of my chat were station brag. Uh, it's Georgia. It's definitely Georgia. The Penny. <laughs> <laughs> is entirely appropriate. It is. I just don't know who it's licensed to. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, man, we're going to have to figure out uh, who Gazi is here real quick. Although they might just mean Fugazi, meaning fake. Right? That could that could just be the Fugazi thing. Uh, let's see here. What did Justin say last? Gazi Kudzo is a barrel of lulls. Oh, God, do we got to look into this guy? Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, chat, I'm going to stop reading chats here for a little bit. We're going we're gonna to read through the rest of this document, all right? Uh, how Black Hammer will lie to you. We're collecting money for the homeless. Truth, they're collecting money for the personal expenses. Their cult leader, Gazi Kudzo. Oh, God, I should have just kept reading. If you join us, we'll take you in and give you a place to say the truth. If you join Black Hammer... You will be subjected to cult brainwashing struggle sessions and may be forced to live in a commune uh, or hammer house. Some ex-members who have escaped their old commune in Riverdale, Georgia, report having to engage in forced labor at gunpoint. Many have had their belongings destroyed when they escaped. On July 19th, 2020, someone trapped in their garage was desperate enough to call the police for help, leading to a standoff situation and multiple arrests. Black Hammer is an organization of colonized quote people uh when black hammer started off the cult excluded white people however so many black members fled after being abused by gazi kudzo that he opened the organization to white people to increase recruitment white ex-members have reported that gazo instructed them to lie and claim they held indigenous ancestry uh black hammer is an organization for the working class Black Hammer has no real politics aside from the goal of seeking money, power, and publicity for Ghazi Kudzo. Hey, guess what, chat? That's literally every communist organization ever, because the people, like, look, it doesn't take a genius to realize communism's a scam. Right? It doesn't. It, it, and it only takes a slightly malicious non-genius to go, Oh, right. But I could take advantage of good-natured people, because most people are mildly good-natured, uh, and I could literally use it to control their every, their every fucking action, uh, until it's too late. Like this. They claim to be in, uh, to be revolutionary communists, and they also claim to be in alliance with Republicans and right-wing gangs. Chat! We have a research topic for the night. God damn it, am I happy this came across my desk. Um, What's up, Checksum Hero? Uh, what should I do? Stand together and tell Black Hammer they are not wanted. Uh, if it is not safe for you to speak up, quietly warn others. Support Black Hammer ex-members attempting to escape. Uh, how can I find out more? Uh, oh boy, here we go. Uh, redvoice.com slash the devil wears dashikis. Oh, yes. Let's look this up. Okay, hold well, This has got to be another communist dishing on him. HTTPS, semicolon, slash, slash. Um, uh, Red Voice. Yeah, that's got to be a commie.
dot news slash the devil wears dashikis all right let's look this up red voice news the devil wears dashikis an expose on the black hammer uh posted september of last year chat chat i'm excited oh yeah no we'll talk about the aoc prison romance that's gonna happen chat that was i could not how could i not talk about that it was so heartwarming chat i made it it's literally part of my thumbnail we're also going to talk about the transformers exploding because who do <laughs> gooding hold on chat i just realized that i'm i'm a little bit gay because i don't have live chat on and top chat on Hey, so they recruit unsuspecting liberal arts students. Yup. Uh, free housing sounds sketch as fuck, no matter where you are. Correct, my brother. Uh, Ghazi Kudzo is a barrel of lols. Oh, man. Let's, we're going to dig into this. Remember, kids, property rights do not exist to these people because uh, something, something communist manifesto. Yes. Yeah, I don't know what you're mad about with uh, there, Justin. I, I got all that. Uh, let's get to AOC's prison room. <laughs> we will, dude. We will. Um, so they're basically getting an early dose of communism. Yes! Yes, and it's beautiful, and I love it. Uh, let's see. I read that one. I read that one. Um, things I say are not important. Oh, they're always important. Don't worry about it, Justin. Uh, he's got crazy. Bro, yes. Yes, he does. Like, those eyes say run. Run, brother. That's Gazi. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, Hunter, welcome, welcome, buddy. Good to see you, Hunter Cunning. Thanks for saying to like the stream, buddy. Let's see here. Uh, all right. <laughs> the demagogue. <gasps> Stop. He's a YouTuber? Stop. Stop this right now. Guzzy cuts a YouTube. Oh. Oh, chat. Oh, chat. Commander Gazi. Oh, no, chat. No. Don't tempt me. The, the feds are surrounding my home. I'm sorry. What? What? Oh. I feds surrounding G my home. All right. <laughs> Oh man. Oh man, let's see. Wake up, Peggy Piggy! Oh, He's Polish! In District Dolphin! We are here at Chat! Dead. Chat! What is this? Chat, what am I looking at? So why police kidnap my son? Okay, let's let's see what he has to say. Let's see. Let's see. I feel like I feel like this most recent drama probably has something to do with this. They like they like it's like Y'all we here. Y'all protesting against this precinct. So that has continuously kidnapped children. We are here for Draco, Andreas, 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 Andreas,
Like, your parents kick you out of your place, right? Like, you see this face and he says, Hey, I'm gonna give you a free place to live. How the fuck are you gonna take that? What? No! Stop! He, do he does sound a little bit like Michael Jackson. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hi, your kids, Natalie. Hi, your yeah, wife. Hey, Juan, how you doing? Make sure to share on Twitter. Make sure to like this live. Hit that algorithm. It is. It's a Gucci strap. I wasn't gonna say nothing at first until I was sure of it. But yeah, it looks Gucci to me too. And as long as you're, as long as I've got to sell somebody else saying it, yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Enjoy the view while you have it. Keep those likes going up, y'all. Stop. Chat, stop. Stop, chat. Stop, stop, stop. I can't. I can't, chat. I cannot. So out here, I cannot say what I want to say. Revolutionary Church. What the fuck is going on here, chat? I can't. This is a trap. Specifically, um, Alphonse Bender or Bended or Bendit and Piggy Hill. You're probably going to see him shortly come out of that building. He's about four yeah, foot what? two, and he is a uh, very, 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 very. Well, I don't know. I don't know if both um, these guys can uh, afford sad, it. Like, sad individual. He suffers with, you know, micro penis syndrome, and so he goes around brutalizing. Um, Bro, that this sounds like some real serious projection here. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> he like dog. Um, our black teens. But on a serious note, um, this building behind us that you see here that looks like um, something out of a scary movie. Uh, multiple uh, teenagers and uh, children are being kidnapped by Atlanta PD, brought into this building, and then for some reason when they leave, um, they always seem to have some kind of uh, physical issues. And... Um, Yes, that might be what they call a detention center. And when you've taught your children to fight the cops at every turn, it it's just this side of possible that they decided to fight either the cops or other kids and got hurt in doing so. It's, uh, it's amazing the way that happens. So what is his kid in for? Can anybody, can we get a little bit of a cross-reference here? Yeah, we have a penis expert. That's correct. We have a penis expert here. Everybody, everybody back off, all right? This man knows his Johnsons. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you could both be Jewish communists. <laughs> All right, my man. So, so uh, that the FBI's got his house surrounded. Chat. <laughs> let's uh, let's see if we can find his Twitter. Uh, he's probably got more there. I would imagine. Oh, of course he's got a Twitter. Let's see his Twitter. No, I have more followers than him. Chat. Stop. Oh, he hasn't used this since 2017. It's probably not even actually him. It's probably somebody just using the name. Uh, Real Gazi Kudzo. Even even fewer. Still haven't tweeted since 2017. Uh, Gazi Gazi Kudzo. I'm gonna search for Gazi Kudzo and see if he's got like his gang tweeting for him or something. This is wild, chat. I was not expecting this. I had a bunch of other shit planned. This came across my desk like as I was doing my pre-show. I haven't seen it. Actually, I'm, uh, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not seeing anything about Gazi Kudzo. 
Huh. Wait, hold on. Somebody asks if this is Kazi Kudzo, and I think they might be right. Hold up, chat. Let me, uh, let me open that up for you. God, that is him! Nicki Minaj fans in Atlanta say they trust her medical ah. advice about the COVID-19 vaccine. Nicki, the queen of rock! Stand up! Nicki, multiple platinum pop! Yes. Stand up! And said, I'm questioning this vaccine! <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can find another minute with him, like, bobbing his head like that, please. Uh, uh, I don't need that word. I don't need that word said again, but, uh, oh, chat, that was, that was Gazi Kanzo, chat. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Uh. The branch watchers. <laughs> the observers. I like Watchmen. What do the watcher? Brother, watch the peak, please. Wait, what? Watch. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, the game keeps sneaking up. For some reason, every time I mute myself and then unmute myself, this mic uh, does a sampling, I guess, and in the quiet decides where the game needs to be. So the game keeps creeping up automatically without me doing anything. Might be a little too quiet now. I can't promise I'm not going to laugh like that, though, chat. This, uh, this Gazi, this Gazi Kazo dude's got me shook. This is, uh, this is prime material. I don't even know what to say about this. I need to I need to rotoscope him out of that. What do you mean there's no video? I literally just saw the video. It's right here. We are here because CDC has lied to us for so Stop. Say Nick say say do the head bob. Where's the head bob? I need the head bob. Nikki the Queen of Rock! Stand up! Nikki multiple platinum pop! <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I mean, what needs to be done is that his head needs to get rotoscoped out. So that all this other background stuff is gone. So that I can put him into other memes. That's, that's what must be done, Chad. All right, so let's move on. We have a bunch of other stories to cover today. Let's uh, let's go to them. First of all, I just wanted to share this. If you guys are real Watcher fans, you'll get this meme. Thank you, by the way, Patrick Kennedy, for uh, for making this meme. Absolutely fantastic. All right, guys, so let's get started. Uh, we are... Uh, I started this news gathering thread yesterday, but there wasn't really a lot going on, so I didn't really do much. Um, plus, I was busy, as you guys know, I was busy editing the uh, the new intro. Should we get to that first? You guys want to see the new intro before we get to uh, before we get to the news? Because some of this is some of this is kind of crazy. We got a lot of it. What do you guys think? Before we get too lost. <laughs> oh, Hunter. How was that? There's no such thing as combat short shorts. Needs more Ukrainian music. <laughs> Thanks there, Buzzmanis. Uh <laughs> Or F and F. Yeah, I'm alright. Uh uh. 
N uh, Nine Inch Nails ni uh, vibes from that music. Cool. Yeah, that's actually called um, that is called Industrial Meltdown, and it's by Punch Deck. I, I love that. Natalie, you like that, huh? All right. Hey, Freeman Gunner, you like that too, huh? All right. Uh, Fed Postinator brings up a point, though. What did Fed Postinator say? Let me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks, Blind. Good to see you again, by the way. Uh, Bulldog VA. You think you think it needs more FNAF-like stuff, huh? All right. All right. Let's get into this. You guys want to see some shit? I don't know so what the net is. You guys, when they... you guys know that uh, that Minneapolis shooter I've been talking about here for a little for a little while now, Tekel Sandberg. Uh, so it turns out my man had a uh, had a TikTok account and uh, potentially some other stuff. And uh, lives of TikTok found some some interesting stuff there. Let's let's take a listen. I don't know what the natives were thinking when they seen Christopher Columbus. If I seen a random white man come at me out of nowhere, I would not greet them. I would be hostile, very hostile. Hmm. Like, who are these people, and why are they brighter than me? Take their skin. <laughs> hey, y'all should take that boat back to Europe. Go back home. <laughs> I don't know what the native. <laughs> so, uh, who? What's that on his head? Yeah, that's a great question. If anybody can answer that, I'd love to hear it. It it looks like some kind of like a do rag, but he stuck flowers in it. I don't know. Uh, the window watchers. Oh, hey. Are Italians white? Not sure yet. Hey, G-Man, how you doing, buddy? Put it out as a commercial. Yeah, I'm going to do a longer cut version of it. We're going to do a a, um, a two-minute flat version. We're going to release it as the, um, the channel. Okay, so you know when you go on a fancy channel, like not any of the ones that I currently run. But, like, when you go on, like, a really well-run fancy channel, they have that intro video that auto-plays when you look at their channel homepage. Uh, here, let's go to YouTube. So, as you can see, I do not have it, right? Like, it'll just, if I'm if I'm live, it'll show something here, right? But, like, if, if you go to, like, say, let's go Viva Fry. I bet he's got it. I bet he's got one. So yeah, this. Joe Rogan literally at the epicenter of the culture war. Who would have ever? So I'm going to make a, uh, a two minute cut that'll count as a short because Susan wants them shorts. And she's, Su we, uh, we have to, we have to give Susan what she wants because the eye of Susan is upon us, as you know. Uh, and so if we want any kind of growth, uh, we have to do some shorts. So I'm going to do one that is short length, which is two minutes and under. Uh, and then we're, we're going to use that as our, uh, as our channel intro, I think it'll be good. Love Viva? Yeah, I like Viva too. Um, I need to make a channel intro for all of the channels, honestly. Um, we'll get to that. So next story, guys. Uh, Representative Ilhan Omar arrested in D.C. We'll get to that. Uh, that's just a teaser. We'll get to that because we're going to get to this. Guys, look. My goodness, someone's just blown out. There's a transformer exploding down there. I hope it wasn't Optimus. Something has just blown out. So a lot of people, including myself, a lot of people when they heard the story, like, wait, what? Uh, and they got their, uh, they got their, they got their, they got their hats out. You know, the special hats that you have to have to protect yourself from the beams and the rays from these global scums. These, uh, these, these pot-bellied vampire goblins hobbling around after us. These. These absolute demons trying to infest our world uh, figured they might have done something to attack the great architecture established by our, our wonderful previous presidents. But uh, it turned out not to be true. Not to be true. Just a uh, just a simple transformer explosion. Uh, we're going to dig into like what may be causing that, but honestly, it's, it's not that shocking. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much a nothing burger. But uh, I thought it was hilarious to uh, to get the Optimus Prime joke in there. I uh, I, I enjoyed uh, Transformers exploding. Now there is there is a story that I want to talk about the Hoover Dam that is not a nothing burger though, and it's nothing like nobody was talking about this today though. Uh, so if you do, you guys know what a Deadpool is? 
And no, I'm not I'm not talking about the character Deadpool. Uh, and I'm also not talking about the thing that the character Deadpool was named after. I'm talking about a, uh, a technical term that is used in when, when you're dam building. A Deadpool is the, uh, the minimum height at which the hydraulic systems in the dam will no longer be able to operate and produce energy, right? So there's a specific height that water can reach at these dams at which uh, uh, you, you, you can no longer put it through the turbine, right? Um, it just kind of sits there, okay? So water not passing by the dam stops electrical production completely, which is already down 33% uh, than it was last winter spring, okay? Uh, Lake Mead is currently uh, at... Uh, Lake, Lake, Lake Mead's Deadpool is uh, at 895 feet. If there's only 895 feet of water in the system, uh, then they cannot use the hydraulics to create electricity. Lake Mead is currently at 10,047 feet. And it's not getting any better. There's not more runoff coming down into this system, folks. So um, this is the story that I thought was interesting about the Lake Mead power generation that I thought should get covered. Okay. Um, they have already installed plumbing that's going to allow them for environmental reasons to continue pumping water out even after the lake gets lower than the deadpool so so after the dam is no longer functional they'll they'll still keep putting water downstream for the fish so uh there you go yeah there's uh there's all those mob bodies that got uncovered in lake mead too but uh Folks, that's an awful lot of power. It's uh, it's an awful lot of clean power. There's a reason that environmentalist groups consistently fight any form of clean power, and it's because in in uh, in this digital ghost's humble opinion, this is uh, not about. Did I say 10k? What did I say? 1,000. Yeah, I'm sorry. 1,047 uh, feet. Sorry, brain frazzled. Doing uh, doing too much reading of uh, of forty k lore earlier. Want to want to throw a k on everything. Um, anyhow, that's why they fight the clean and efficient sources of energy, folks. That's why they uh, they they put it into stuff like uh, uh, solar, solar and wind. They're not actually clean, but they are controlled by certain interests that have a have a everyone that's produced get uh, some. Specific kickbacks. Just going to leave it there. Um, but uh, if you look at all the major dam areas throughout the southwest, you're going to find the same thing. Uh, Glen Canyon Dam uh, down there in Page, which produces an awful lot of power for that area. Uh, they've also, because the Sierra Club, they've had all kinds of uh, deals to essentially try and drain Lake Powell, and they've come awful damn close recently. Um, Lake Mead. Uh, uh, most, like a bunch of the lakes down in, uh, in California, they're also outputting far more than they have to to appease environmental groups and then there are multiple fixes and side projects that could be done to help preserve some of this water and to make it more usable for all but uh every opportunity that environmentalist group get they dive on to those because when they win the lawsuits against them it's not it's not the the conservation project they're trying to put money into that gets money after it if they win those lawsuits it's the environmental group that's it they're the ones who get the money and they get to decide how it gets spent. And mostly, it doesn't get spent preserving the species that they wanted to preserve because they don't actually have a concrete plan on how to do that. They just want to stop anyone from being able to develop anything. So, there you go. Columbia, yeah. Uh, also, I've heard that there's a politician up in uh, up in Idaho that's talking about. Uh, apparently, they're talking about blowing up a bunch of dams along the Snake River that uh, that allow grain barges that, that both produce electricity and allow grain barges to pass up and down the river in order to uh, to preserve salmon populations. And apparently, that's a Republican. So, people of Idaho, get your shit together.
Yeah, no struggle snuggling in chat. But uh, hey, is Princess Snuggles here? Welcome, welcome. I'm seeing people talk about snuggles. That's all right, Patrick. Don't worry about it, buddy. We uh we already showed your meme, but it's uh it's fantastic. Once again, just for everybody there, all the real all the real watchers, all the real watchmen who watch the watcher. They know. They know what this is. Good find, Pat. All right, moving on. So we've got uh, we've got Representative Ilhan Omar getting arrested, like we mentioned earlier, chat. Look at that. Hey, wait. Oh, hey. Hey, hold on. Wait, hold up. Hold up. It appears that she uh, isn't arrested at all. Because uh, when you're arrested, you're not uh, you're not free to just uh, just wander away. Now, here's AOC pretending like she's handcuffed. And from what I've heard, Ilhan Omar is either pretending that she's handcuffed or got herself a pair of fake handcuffs to do before this uh and let's be clear that's likely because not only did they plan it but they telegraphed that they planned it chat we've got tweets that uh that explicitly talk about them going to do this hold on just a second um we will we'll get into oh yeah hold on uh i have to actually log in to be able to look at that one chat hold on i'll show it to you on my screen give me just a second um So here's the deal. Bad Kitty for Congress, or Pepe's Grandma, one of my very favorite accounts on this whole shitbox, found this earlier from uh, Jeremy Slevin. Members of Congress, including Ilhan Omar, will be participating in a civil disobedience at the Supreme Court, potentially including arrests shortly. 1 p.m. Make sure we get the press there. Jeremy Slavin, calm strategy for Ilhan Omar. Yes, I wonder, chat, if they might have planned this in advance. So, uh, this fucking staged ruse happens. Uh, just this absolute travesty happens. Uh, just wandering off. You know, in handcuffs, because that's, you know, how you do. Because it's not her culture. Yeah, well, I mean, that could be it. Well, they also depend on farmers paying taxes in order to be able to, uh, well, I would assume, like, Idaho is a massive farming state, and all that farming is based on the ability to control the Snake River. If you look into, like, I've looked into this before, is, like, guys, if you want to move to a place for, uh, for nuclear survival, the Snake River Basin is one potential area because the, uh, the whole head of the Snake River is away from anywhere that's likely to get contaminated by, uh, by a nuclear war. Um... And should continue to receive roughly the same amount of rainfall. But, uh, yeah. But the Snake River Valley depends entirely on the Snake River. Because it itself receives next to no rainfall naturally. Almost none. It would be a desert if it weren't for the snake. Her culture is feminazi. Yeah. Uh, that's why you shared it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, they don't depend. The, the state doesn't really depend on salmon fishing. Not really. It's a uh, it's a dumb thing. So uh, here's the thing. Moving on to the next. No, you know what? Let's just follow this whole line. No, no, I want to let it develop as I saw it. So here's what I saw. I saw Elon Omar getting arrested. I saw AOC get arrested, and she was complaining about it. Um, I saw the story that it was prepared, and then I saw this. Stephen King praises war criminal Stefan Bandera as great as a great man during a call with Russian pranksters. So these Russian radio pranksters have done this several times, right? And I'm hoping that we get a clip here. People who I really love Ukraine, yeah. They, I'm going to go grab not, some lemonade. I'll be right back, uh, it's chat. not Nazis. It's Azov. They, of course, they love some 
uh, people like Bandera, it's uh, our national hero. So what do you think about Bandera? He was in the uh, Second World War and uh, he fighted against uh, Soviet Union. Uh, but yeah, he had some crimes, but it's not uh, so big crimes. It's of course accidentally where uh, crimes against Jews, but you know, it's really important to keep him uh, opposed to Putin and his propaganda. Well, yes, I mean, there, there, there are always, you can always find things about people uh, to <laughs> There is Washington and Jefferson. You fucking ones. clown. Uh, that doesn't mean that you absolute be fucking many clown good for the United States of America. Uh, there are all people who have uh, flaws. We're human. You know, there are things that uh, we do that are bad choices, and then there are things that we do uh, that are great choices. So, you know, on the whole, I think uh, Bandera. He's a great man, and you're a great man, and uh, viva Ukraine. Thank you very much. Beep. God bless Russian radio pranksters. God damn it. Let's read the article. Um, Volvan and Lexus reported that the video call with U.S. author and outspoken liberal... Oh, God. King, who appears in a pro-Ukrainian hat and t-shirt, expresses his admiration for the Ukrainian president and Bandera after the pranksters bring up his name in the call. There are people who really love... <laughs> what a goddamn clown. Oh. King looks like the dog thing from uh, Never Ending Story. Oh, God. You know... Let me just play this without the sound on. You're not wrong. Uh, uh, Atreyu? Ah, baited. Absolutely baited. Like, it was, it was just fucking wonderful. Stephen King books are awful. You're, you're right. Uh, dams done well are a really good power source. Yeah, it's very true. The Hoover is a very good power source. Uh, the whole deal, though, is that you can't manage it poorly you must manage the water above it judiciously and when you have court rulings from environmental groups stating that you are forced to put through x amount of water regardless of how much water is coming into the system every day you're gonna run into some very serious problems so there you have it Oh, hey, we, uh, <coughs> I'll forget to turn on the music. I miss the days when we were, we put old people out to pasture before they could make fools of themselves. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. He's, uh, he is pretty far past his prime. And, but, I mean, I don't know. Unlike, uh, some people, he doesn't appear to have family members propping him up. So, it is at least himself doing it to himself. Hey kids, if uh, just just a point of fact, if you're being asked about uh, about a figure from World War II, and you don't know, say that you don't know. Don't don't pull a Stephen King. Don't uh, don't try and guess at it and try and and see what you can get with it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you're, you're gonna have a bad time, alright? Moving on. Ah, this is just... Uh, clown world just keeps peaking. Yeah, peaking. Uh, so let's celebrate a win today, boys. So I don't know if you guys remember this, but there was this group down in Portland who are called Patriot Prayer. They are... I bet some of these people in person they are uh to my knowledge which is not lacking they are to my knowledge the uh the most milk toast 
really chill, calm, conservative group you could ever imagine. Um, it, or at least they started out that way. Um, it, it's part of what made Antifa so angry, is that they wanted to assign all these fascist things to them, and they really wanted these guys to be fascists. And it took beating the shit out of them for, like, three years, and in doing so, ruining Antifa's own reputation, uh, for them to, uh, to get these guys to react. Uh, at all, really. Like, they, they really would just kind of organize peacefully and try and do their, their prayer events and go home. Um, gotta try and split my attention between you and LM. LM? Legal mindset's on? Oh, shit, I didn't mean to be, uh... Hey, man, if you gotta pick, pick him. That's what I'm saying. This, this is coming from me. Like, just saying. Uh, let's see. So, Joey Gibson today was 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 the leader of Patriot Prayer, right? Let's look at what he's got going on right now. The Patriot Calendar. Uh, Patriot Calendar for events and rallies in the Northwest. Okay, so they still run Patriot Prayer, and he also runs Patriot Calendar, which is apparently a, uh, a schedule for conservatives to be able to share around their events in the Northwest, which is nice. Um, but here's the deal. Uh, they got charged when they fought back in an incident with Antifa. It was uh, it was staged pretty much to uh, to cause them to screw up. Um, in fact, let's uh, let's scroll up the line here. Rose City Antifa event at Cider Riot in May 2019 was the first time I was injured while reporting on Antifa. A wanted suspect from the pub rushed me and sprayed my face with bear mace to disable me from documenting their video. Uh, okay, I forgot. So, Cider Riot. So, let's, let's step back. Do you guys know what Cider Riot is? Are you guys all aware? Or do I need to... Do I need to explain, like, how much of the Portland Antifa lore do you guys need from me before we get into the story? A lot or a little? Just say a lot or a little. That's all you need to say in chat. Uh, whenever you're afraid... Whenever you're asked about a figure from World War II, I don't know... You say yes, and you wish you'd gone further. <laughs> they basically just organize prayer circles. Yep, that's it. That's literally all they do. Um, you need background. Okay, okay. Um, some people are afraid to admit they don't know what they're talking about. It's a cider brewery, isn't it? It is. I mean, that's... That would be the most basic explanation of what it is, yes. Um, a lot, a lot. Okay, so let's go back. All right, so let's let's talk about Cider Riot. Let's uh, let's open it up over here. Cider Riot. It's no longer in existence, guys. It was a, uh, a cider production. Cider house, I guess is what they call it. Um, it was over in the Kearns neighborhood of Portland. So we'll talk about exactly what part of Portland that is here in a minute, but doesn't matter. They started production in 2013. The owner uh, was pretty explicitly communist. And uh, after BLM stuff, they changed their logo with the black power, or black power fist and all kinds of all kinds of things. And I'm talking about after BLM as in like after the original thing of BLM when they started under Obama. I think 2016, I think was it, right? Um, they literally describe themselves from the beginning as a gathering place for anti-fascists. It was a, uh, a leftist hellhole shit swill, really. Um, so if you look here, let's, uh, let's pull this up. So this is Portland, and this is downtown Portland and the Pearl District. This is kind of where most of the, the protests you see happen are, are in the downtown Chinatown and Portland District. Uh, very occasionally over in University, right? But, like, um, this is on the other side. Like, most people live kind of over in this area sort of thing, right? Like, except for Rose City. Obviously, that's where Rose City Antifa is from. Um, but it's... Uh, this area particularly there's a whole shit ton of homelessness it's not a very nice place i'll put it that way right like it's not a i think i once like had was looking for office space in that area and like the, it, it was the building that i that, that was there was pretty nice but it was all communists 
and uh, and it was just shitty with homeless people just everywhere just a terrible place um, the watcher on the web house passed a bill codifying gay marriage that's all the Supreme Court asked for true factual factual it's not going to be the end of that though Oh, 2013 was the start of BLM? I thought it was a little later than that. I thought it was a little bit later than that. When was, uh, when was Watch His Face shot? When, when did Hands Up Don't Shoot Boy take a bullet? I'm pretty sure that was 2016. You live here, but it's good lore. Ah, gotcha. So... Cider Riot itself, again, funded by, or founded by a communist, um, not very, like, I'm not gonna lie, I've never been there, but I had heard that the cider was not great. Um, they launched a tap room in 2016, uh, the cider's policy was that children were welcome until seven, uh, followed by time for adults until the pub closed at nine. That uh, that popping uh, Seattle, uh, the uh, uh, Portland nightlife you hear about, Ferguson, yeah, Trayvon was twenty twelve. Okay, so yeah, twenty twenty thirteen would have been when uh, when BLM started. Um, super vocal anti fascist, definitely involved in anti fascist circles. He allowed multiple chapters of Antifa to to do their meetings there. This is also where they would would kind of go before for a riot to kind of get worked up and they'd kind of come here after a riot sometimes, right? And then, uh... And then in 2019, there was an incident outside of here where, uh, where a bunch of these drunk Antifa assholes were stumbling around outside of the fucking bar. Uh, drunk. And an SUV accidentally... <coughs> <coughs> was driving by, accidentally struck and killed one of them. Uh, and because it's Antifa, they immediately decided that this was a vehicle attack by uh, Patriot Prayer, Joey Gibson, those kind of people, right? Like this was this was a this was an attack on on them, and they were trying to murder them. Uh, it definitely couldn't have been that if you play drunk in the street in the middle of the night. Uh, on a street, people drive down at, I think, 45 miles an hour was the speed limit. Uh, and you jump out from behind a car right as they're passing. You might get hit by a car. Fact. Um, and so he died. There were a lot of lawsuits. There was, like, I think the family sued, I think. Like, there, there, was, there was lawsuits flying in a lot of different directions. Okay. Uh, and Antifa got really riled up at Patriot Prayer specifically after this because they thought they were responsible, even though there's no incident of that at all. Um, or sorry, no incident, no evidence is what I meant to say of that at all. Um, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I forgot they shot at it. Um. So it, it was found, oh, I didn't know this part. Hold on. It was found abandoned with two bullet holes at the Democratic Party of Oregon, two blocks from the Cider Riot. Uh, oh, yeah. So it also looks like it might have been a stolen car, too. Interesting. Neither a motive nor a suspect have ever been identified. Uh, yeah. So there you go. So shortly after that kid uh, ate it, the uh, the owner of the cider riot, cider riot sold it, okay, um, and for not a lot of money, they definitely took a loss in my opinion. Um, I could be wrong, but it was all the money that they put into that over time. I, I don't I don't I don't think so. Um, he tried to. I think part of this had to do with the lawsuits. Right, because I don't think they were insured, um, and so he tried to be like, "Oh, I'm only going to sell it to somebody who who follows my my views and my way of life." And then, shockingly, 
uh, no one stepped forward. So there you go. That's your Cider Riot kind of lore here. That's where uh, that's where this incident takes place. So let me find the thread we were just reading again. Oh god damn it! Here we go. Let's see if we can get the actual uh, event. Uh, Monday, three conservative activists in Portland, including Japanese, uh, are on trial. Yep, so I think this is the incident. Uh, so they tried to say that... Uh, basically, they came, they showed up near Cider Riot. I think they were just holding signs. And, uh, of course, the mob came out and beat them. And uh, they fought back, and they got charged with organizing a riot. And during the trial, or during the uh, the, the the phase of the trial, I should say, uh, it became very, very obvious that the prosecutor was coordinating directly with Antifa to try and fabricate evidence against these guys. Um, we're going to go through some of the video evidence from the site of riot area, and then we'll go into what the judge said. Fall back! 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 So they came after him, and I think he knocked somebody out. It turns out he was very wrong. I wonder if we can spot Ash Ketchum in the crowd somewhere. Because you know he was probably here, chat. Like, they, these guys all hang out, and this used to be the hangout. Um, all right. So, Joey Gibson, six of the people, they were all charged. Um, they were found, uh, the, the, the charges were dropped. Uh, charges were dropped. Or I should, sh shouldn't say charges were dropped, right? Because that, that implies that the DA dropped the charges. Not true. The uh, they the motion to dismiss was granted. So, oh, hey, wait, hold on. That's the chick that was coming after him. It's right. Where was it? I just saw it. There it is, right here. Some chick came after him, and I think he drops her. Yup. There you have it. So, let's find the judge. Hold on, chat. I, I have it in my chat here somewhere. It's just not pulling up for some reason. <coughs> Did that dude swing at them with a knife? Maybe. Maybe. A lot of soy. All incredible amounts of soy. Uh, LM is getting into the uh, Manson hubbub. Just listen to Manson back in the day. Ah. Burned out on celeb shit. Ah, oh, I hear that, man. I'm uh, I am not a celeb chaser myself. I've never really been into it. Most of the celebrities I like aren't super famous anyways. They're, they're famous, but they're not like... How do I put this? Most of the celebrities I really like are niche celebrities, I would say. Uh, let me find this chat real quick. So, Gibson Judge should pull, should give me what I need. Uh, okay, here we go, chat. Antifa watch for the win. Hey, Schley Schley, good evening. Uh, did you ever recover the picture with the names? Uh, yes, I did. I, f I figured out where that was at. As an institution, the district attorneys. So I need to pause the music because he's quiet. So hold on. But as an institution, the district attorney's uh, office's decision to push this case to trial is surprising, given the state of the evidence. Defendant Schultz's motion for judgment of acquittal is granted. So they were acquitted. They were acquitted on all charges, all except for one of them. So we're going to go through some other reactions. Um, we've got... Yeah, we'll do that one more time, just in case anybody didn't catch it while I find this next video. With respect to Mr. Gibson, but as an institution, 
the district attorney's office's decision to push this case to trial is surprising, given the state of the evidence. Surprising. Defendant Schultz's motion for judgment of acquittal is granted. So that happened to six of them today, guys. Six of these Patriot Prayer defendants were all acquitted. Um, I'm thankful for the decision that the judge made. The judge seemed insulted that they even brought this in. Um, we still have one person left, though. That's uh, Mackenzie Lewis. So um, loading up the car to take a beach trip. Oh hell yeah, Schley Schley. All right, fine. thank you, Joey. How are you feeling? Um, <laughs> Beto might be a furry, guys. It might be that might be why they plan those conventions at the same time. I'm not like I'm just saying like they're deeply committed to to climate change and uh, just uh, wanted to make sure that uh, you know everything uh, everything was fine. All right, guys, uh, give me just a second. We've got one more. One more video about this. It's his lawyer. I just wanted to celebrate a win. I'm happy these guys uh, these guys got off. Your thoughts on the judge dismissing the case? Uh, he was 100% right on the law. He followed the law. He made very clear that his job is to analyze the facts and apply the law as given to him from the state legislature and from the Supreme Court and Court of Appeals. Where's a mortar team when you need one? Angron, I'm sorry I missed your chat. Densely packed commies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts became no dispersion. They never learned. They were always very clear to me, um, but the court was able to finally see all the evidence that the state had to present, and none of that evidence, not one little bit, produced any evidence at all that could be even remotely interpreted as violent conduct by Mr. Gibson. And that left the court with no choice under the law to dismiss the case. The court did the absolutely right thing, and it's commendable. So there we go, guys. Patriot Prayer. Uh, all five of six defendants were uh, acquitted. The uh, the next defendant, uh, they uh, he's moving forward to trial. That doesn't necessarily mean uh, one way or the other. I'd say that if all six others were acquitted, there's uh, there's probably not a whole lot of likelihood of him being found uh, guilty. But we we shall see. Uh, during the jury selection for the Cider Riot Antifa case, Portland Antifa accounts appear to suggest that their supporters should lie during jury selection. Antifa calls themselves anti-state, but they will work with the state to prosecute shared enemies. Mm. Ah. <sighs> Well, there we have it, guys. Um, the felony cases against conservative activists Joey Gibson and Russell Schultz. Mike Schmidt's prosecutors failed to demonstrate they engage in tumultuous and violent conduct with a group, which is felony rioting. So there you have it. They're free. What do you think about that, chat? Vacations, nice. Oh, I always like it when there's a beach close by, man. I kind of miss that. All right, let me look back through my chat. Uh, so here's the next uh, next bit for today. Uh, are you guys aware that part of the way that these uh, these leftists are getting uh, getting ones over on us is that they've taken over various larger institutions. For instance. Uh, most of the major dictionary companies are, uh, have been taken over by Wokelings. Uh, and you could tell by the way that they are consistently, uh, editing the definitions of words in ways that are both inaccurate and harmful, uh, in order to better suit the leftist's narratives. This morning, Miriam Webster changed the definition of girl. To include... A person whose gender identity is female. Uh, it's not a joke, chat. They literally want to make it impossible to even think about dissent. They want to make you not have the words to be able to know what dissent means. Uh, chat, did you hear about the long march through the institutions? Yeah. Chat, uh, I've talked about this on many an occasion, but yeah. 
they uh they actually uh are publishing books now about the unfinished march about how they uh they can't stop now and chat i think that's because they're starting to be turned back uh is that the hk slap video i love it hey, fun. yes okay chat we're gonna take a break from this depressing shit uh, and we're gonna learn, we're, we're gonna learn real quick in a short music video about why Gun Control's dead, uh, courtesy of Joshua Hamm, who tweeted this to us. So here you go. Oh, you call us an MP5? <laughs> das ist dein Stück Scheiße. Uh, you Americans are very funny, huh? Yeah? Oh, you 3D princes that? Uh, no. no way. I'm a developer at HK. I don't think this is okay. Look at this. The way you massacred my boy. This looks a little chunky, huh? Yeah? Isn't this already patented or something? Yeah. I don't know if you're allowed to do this. You're messing with German engineering. Yeah. Yeah. It's the magnets. Hans, yeah. I think we have a problem. Ich habe eine MP5, you give a little slap. Yeah. Yeah. I have an MP5, we slap it just like that I have an MP5, we have a little fun I have an MP5, a 3D printed one Listen, I didn't come all this way for you to just be gentle with me, alright? I need you to slap me hard I need to go into battery, alright? Give it to me Don't talk back Do the HK slap Do you mean to tell me that you made this in your living room no with just a 3D printer? Stop it. Yeah. There you go. Oh, I still don't quite understand. You mean you just squirted it? What? I squirted it, yeah. I squirted it out of the 3D printer with plastic oh, in my place. living room, yeah. I'm scared. This could mean anyone could 3D print it into a living room. I think that's the point, yeah. But it's very scary. I'm well, scared. sometimes the world is a scary place. Oh, no. Slap it with your left. Slap it with your right. Slap it in the day and slap it in the night. Slap it like you mean it. Ah, I love you, Susan. Susan is such a weirdo. Do you want to know something, chat? Here's the thing. If I held a gun like this on stream, Susan would restrict me to 18 plus. But I have checked this. I have uploaded private videos to try and see what it would do. If I hold a gun, which I can't because I'm a digital being, but if I hold a gun on my stream, I get restricted to 18 plus. But if I watch a video of someone else using a gun, or if it is a gun in a fantasy setting, then supposedly the manual reviewer will fix it. But I have a feeling that it's a little more about which side of the fence you fall on and how much money YouTube's making off you. Because if you look at some of the big daddies, if you look at some of the real big daddy YouTubers who are making some serious money, a lot of them are using guns in their productions. They are. Let's check this out. I was murdered. You were murdered. Okay, you obviously weren't murdered because you're alive and you're basically intact. You weren't murdered, buddy. I was murdered. You were murdered. God, whoever did this edit, you you are an absolute genius. This is so perfect. Okay, you obviously weren't murdered because you're alive and you're basically intact. You weren't murdered, buddy. <laughs> you would like an Evo, wouldn't we all? You walk around your place slapping the SP5 sometimes. Very nice. Uh, I've done the MP5. I, I, I've done, I, I have slapped an MP5 before. Once or twice. Not often, though. It was a rare treat. All right, chat. That that meme gets us into the next subject. I just have to get the uh, get the thread pulled back up. So we've celebrated our win. We've talked about that. And now let's talk about how AOC's arrest is now turned into a love story. For you see, chat, as soon as Alex Stein heard that AOC was being arrested, he is on his way to bail her out of the courthouse chat. I am, I am deeply touched by this. Yeah, I, that's exactly what I'm implying there, random. That is, that is literally what I'm saying, is that uh, Susan decides who makes enough money that she can turn to blind eye. That's what I'm saying. Yup.
Yup, I'm suggesting that when you get a large enough channel, Susan will turn a blind eye because YouTube's financials are utter garbage. Uh, that might not be the case for a super long time. But yeah. So, uh, yeah, our boy is, is on his way. Uh, and uh, in, case, in case you question his purity here, um, I, I did see this earlier as well. I mean... Things are getting hot and heavy up in that uh, up in that booth chat. It's uh, the MP5 was like me too. <laughs> uh, uh, I chat. They they don't. Why chat? Don't don't restrain his love. All he just wants to love her. Why do we have to make this so hard? Why? <laughs> why? All right, Britbongs, Britbongs out there. How many Britbongs do we have in the audience? I know we have several uh, British friends. Um, I think they probably mostly came over from when we hung out with uh, with Lord Miles, but you can never be too sure. Where are my Britbongs at? Is London burning, and how do you feel about it, if so? Because uh, I am hearing that London is on fire, uh, but mostly just some trees, so... Let's do this. Here it is. Here is the evidence. London's burning. A London fire brigade declares a major incident as it battles 12 blazes across the capital. Let's turn our music back on, too. Oh, boy. That's some houses. Ouch. Hey, get off, uh, get off that bridge. Just, uh, just, just don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be there. I don't know why you're, I don't know why you want to be there. Get out of there. Uh, including this one in East London. Speaking of Bongistan, when did we start blast fishing? Brother, when did we stop blast fishing? That's my question. Uh, wonder if AOC will put a restraint. Oh, yeah. Uh... Hey, Schley. I understand how that is. I, uh, I, I, I too get that way sometimes. I, uh, I can't afford it, but I do. So here's the deal, guys. They're trying to blame this on temperatures getting above 100. And as a guy who's lived in places where temperatures regularly get above 100, for most of my life, I've lived in places where temperatures regularly get above 100. Uh, you don't just uh, spontaneously combust trees at 100 degrees. That's, uh, that's not how that works. It's not how, that's not how any of that works. Uh, you've got people lighting fires, folks. That's my opinion. People are lighting fires. Uh, eight engines to a grass fire, eight engines to a grass fire, grass fire, grass fire, grass fire, grass fire, four engines to a fire on Sidcup Road in Eltham. Uh, 35 engines and 175 fighters to a grass fire in P Lane in Upminster. You're never going to convince me, Brit Bongs, that these are real names. You guys just put these out in your press releases to fuck with us. It's something you guys started in the war to be like, yeah, we're, uh, oh, yeah, no, we, like, you've made up a bunch of fake names for places so that you could, like, hide the real name and, like, hopefully when they were targeting something, they might target the wrong thing. What, what do you guys really call London? That's what I want to know. It's more of a forest management problem. Exactly. Yep. Uh, eucalyptus do. Above 100 degrees? Really? Eucalyptus are found in some incredibly hot areas. I find that... A little hard to believe. Uh, future topic suggestion. Basics on defensive driving for the normie. Yeah, I mean, I uh, I got to be careful about that because I don't want to... I don't want to become like a T-Rex arms kind of guy. I was never an instructor for defensive driving. I've only ever taken a defensive driving course. Um, I know an instructor. I might be able to bully him into coming on, but I think that guy is busy enough as it is. We'll have to see. Uh, mature eucalyptus trees are basically time bombs. Oh, interesting. So they just light up all by themselves then. So it doesn't really have to do with the temperature. 
Uh, Don predicted a climate emergency and climate lockdown. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, it's hard not to... I mean, I'm going to hand it to Don. He did predict it. I predicted it also. Like, back when they very first were saying how good this was. Look at how good this lockdown was for the climate, you guys! Uh, they really, they really broadcast that they were going to do that. Uh, so it looks like Biden's going to try and do that now with an executive order. Uh, I suspect that what's going to happen, because his polling is so low, is that there's, there's going to be very little compunction among various different courts to slap him down. And they're, like... Various different places can actually gain political favor for slapping him down so long as they have the ability to do so. So, we'll see. I uh, I don't foresee this going the way the last thing went. But not only is London burning, you guys. Not only is London burning. Um, hold on, I will look at that here in a second. There, Hunter, I see it uh, in Gilded. But I need to go look at... A DM which I received from Hunch the Dirty Roofer, who says, Hey, you remember how Macron decided to cut power to streetlights? Well, when you combine that with the out-of-control wildfires around France, uh, you produce this. How's that going for you? Hey, France, you doing okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, called it. Called it. Climate action uh, lockdown to get election fortification stuff. Probably. You're going to try. Uh, London is actually called New Pakistan. I knew it! I knew you all were hiding secret names for things. Uh, so what changed? Is this just, uh, started saying what they were doing on live television? <laughs> oh, gotcha. So what changed is they just started saying what they were doing on live television. Yeah, it's true. They did. Uh, climate lockdowns to get a, yeah, yeah. Uh, every other day they printed, uh, nature is healing articles. Yup. Uh, to the point where it became one of my very favorite memes. Uh, nature is healing is still one of my favorite memes. Uh, Biden is the old man on his porch wagging a finger saying, get off my lawn. You're so right. Let's talk about this old man who wagged his finger, told this young bastard to get off his lawn. And when he didn't, he uh, he ensured that that young man was uh, not coming back to his lawn anytime soon. Uh, so, uh, murderer was charges have been dropped against Jose Alba, the Harlem bodega worker who defended himself. Uh, for the past three weeks, Alba was facing murder charges and 25 years in prison. The local and even national community have been calling on the city to drop charges against Alba, citing self-defense. Earlier today, following citywide outrage, Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg dropped the murder charges against Jose Alba, a 62-year-old convenience store worker who was attacked behind the, count, uh, the register counter while at work in Harlem. Alba defended himself and fought off his attacker with a knife. Unfortunately, it ended with the attacker dead. For the past three weeks, Alba was facing murder charges and 25 years in prison. Yeah, yeah, we, we just read that. With the, why would they summarize it and then literally just type a slightly extended version of the summary below? That's stupid. I like this one. These are uh, New Yorkers reacting. According to police, a young mom tried to buy a bag of chips for her daughter, but her shows the violent struck. I believe they felt at that time he needed a weapon to do what he had to do. Don't you dare. To tell, to say to people that he's a murderer. I definitely believe that he should be let off. Self-defense. Morally, legally, like, no matter how you look at it. I'm Jeremy Lafredo for Rebel News in Harlem, New York, in front of the Blue Moon Convenience Store. It was here where Jose Alba fought off his violent attacker and ended up killing him. We're going to ask New Yorkers what they think about the case and if Jose Alba should be freed. It's certainly self-defense. Because he was working. I mean, you know, he's... Guy was working, and the other guy from the came from, and jump, jumping all, all over the counter and trying, to, and hit him, you know, and you know, he he have uh, the really hoping the right to defend the Dominican Party. Yes, Definitely, his actions were justified. I mean, 
No offense to the cops in the city, but they don't exactly do anything. <laughs> so, I mean, like, what options do you have in that kind of situation? Fire. He was the one being attacked and, like, wronged in that situation. Warning. And he didn't know what this guy's going to do. Fired. You know what I mean? This is a scary city. I don't think you should be charging murder right? because it's plain to see. Um, what happened? He didn't plan it. It wasn't premeditated. It just came along with the struggle and fight. He, did, he felt, at that time, he needed a weapon to do what he had to do. He had no... Yeah, I don't want to. Don't want to play that again. Let's start. Let's listen to this old man. I take it just to protect myself. I'm not thinking where I'm, and comes in, especially when you're older. I'm 55. The guy's 19, 20 years old. Comes in, middle of the night, shoves me around, and I have a weapon. And I take it just to protect myself. I'm not thinking where I'm gonna. I'm, I'm not thinking I'm gonna kill the guy. I'm yeah. gonna protect myself, and that's what happened. The guy ends up dying. And yes, I believe you know that is that should be a case of self-defense. He should be acquitted because it's ridiculous. It's crazy. It really is. Personally, yeah. damn I think right. He didn't mean any harm because obviously he was just defending himself. So I don't really understand why it should be that much. Like, I issue. Uh, I think you should be able to defend yourself no matter what the situation is, and you know by whatever means, as long as it's just. You know what I mean? And especially if you're you're in your place of business that you're paying to um, operate out of, then you should absolutely be able to defend yourself by whatever means, whether it be a gun or a knife or whatever. Hey! You should be completely right uh, acquitted of charges. I think. It definitely, to me, in my perspective, it looks as a case of self-defense. The guy clearly wasn't trying to antagonize in any way, and that's the first thing I pay attention to. He was one that was pushed against the wall in a corner in his own spot and was put in a very dangerous situation. In this world, sometimes, in those moments, you have to defend yourself. What is on his shirt, chat? Stop. The fuck is on his shirt? What is that? And that can go so many different ways. And any death is a tragic loss. Well, look at that cameraman trying to keep the camera so it doesn't see what's um, on that shirt. But to me, Chat, what I also that? want to take this as another way of emphasizing to people how much respect we need to make sure we're showing, like, the people who support this city in so many ways, including our Bodega workers, and to respect them. They're the reason that the city runs. Get clapped. The guy went behind the counter, and that's a no-no. You don't touch that private sphere. I love this little German grandmother. She's German, right? Like, is there any argument with me? Like, this is a little German grandmother. And right next to the cash register. Now the guy, what's his name, Alba? Mm -hmm. He didn't know what would happen to him. He was so defensive. He went down almost on his knees just to prevent something. Yeah. And then the guy came back and beat him up. And then, of course, if we have a knife, I would have taken a knife. Yeah? Uh, yes. Do you think he should be charged with murder? Or no. No way. He's innocent. Mm -hmm. Don't you dare. No. Yes, little German grandmother. Yes. Very German. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a no no. That's a no no. <laughs> I love that little old lady so much. Oh, I, I hate to say it, but. Oh, based German grandma. Based German grandma. I don't think anybody should have guns, especially the corrupt police, okay? Number one. But if they got them, everybody should be able to. I tell you, in Texas, man. Old ladies carry guns in their fucking purse, okay? So nobody robs them, nobody fucks with them. Here, I just saw a woman get fucking robbed the other day. They pulled a fucking shirt over these two kids, pulled a shirt over her fucking head and took off fucking running because they know they can get away with it. I chased him to the corner, but shit, I'm 67 years old, you know? What would have happened to him if he yeah, didn't we have can, a chance to defend we can himself, tell, man. you know? Do you think they should drop I I can't believe they found Charlie Sheen for an interview like that. <laughs> they should drop him. Dude. I feel for them working in those stores. I can only imagine it's been more and more violent as, as things have gotten more difficult, you know, post pandemic, during the pandemic, it was a, it's violent. I definitely believe that he should be let off self-defense morally, legally, like no matter how you look at it. Well, there you have it, Chad. From the as of now, of it the seems that there isn't enough public support. We here at Rebel News believe everyone should have the sacred right to defend themselves. Hey, I agree. Hey, uh, also, Rebel News, you guys have been doing a good job. Like, back in the day when I first learned about you guys, you guys were laughable. Um, and I have to say, I don't know who exactly it was that came on board and decided to, uh, to be a hard charger and really change the culture up there. 
but whoever it was goddamn good on you uh, because i have been seeing some utterly fantastic work come out of rebel news in the last i want to say four years three years hard to say what do you guys think do need some tiger's blood he's a tiger milk bar that's what he needs so yeah he's been uh he's no longer being charged for murder totally fine here so let's talk about why you should never use gofundme i don't know who needs to hear this but if you need to raise money or if you know someone who is raising money do not give them money through gofundme gofundme is a deeply leftist controlled organization Let's, uh, the truckers were not the first time, guys. The truckers are just the, the easiest and most pronounced and easy thing to point out. When the truckers raised money on GoFundMe, GoFundMe tried to not only take it away from them, but tried to redistribute it to leftist causes instead of giving it back to the owners. They only stopped when they realized they were opening themselves up to a crap ton of lawsuits. Never, ever use GoFundMe for anything. There is never a purpose to do so. There are multiple competing sites that are better for you. Uh, Give, Send, Go comes directly to the top of my mind. If you're uncomfortable with the Christian nature of Give, Send, Go, there are a bunch of others. But Give, Send, Go comes to the very top of my mind. Um, I also hear that there is a, uh, a PayPal alternative called Parallel Economy being put together. Uh, it's literally just called Parallel Economy. It's uh, Dan Bongiorno. Uh, Bongino, I know, but Bongiorno is much funner to say. Much more fun to say. Whatever the more appropriate one is. So let's talk about this. The GoFundMe page uh, hosting a page for the gunman who was killed by police after firing into a neighbor's apartment uh, is still up. However, GoFundMe also deleted the GoFundMe page for the bodega worker, Jose Alba, that we just saw whom the city decided eventually to drop charges against because it was very clear he was not a murderer and was engaged in self-defense. Never use GoFundMe for anything ever. Their stuff in Canada was good. Yeah, they did excellent coverage up in Canada, Buzz. You're talking about Rebel News? Yes. Uh, yeah, no, uh, GoFundMe's terrible. Don't use GoFundMe. Uh, they also hid this poor mother, who is now, I, I'm happy to say, chat, that her, I found her GoFundMe page, and so did the rest of the internet. Uh, and so she is finally, uh, she's at like six or seven times her goal currently. Um, so we no longer have to worry about that. But um, there you have it, guys. Uh she, he had been raising more money than her, right? Initially, right? There's still a lot of money in his account. And they he literally tried to murder people. They allow his account up there, right? But if you defend yourself against one of these criminals, God help you because GoFundMe will not. Um, and then that's it, guys. We've, uh, we have reached the end of today's news run. Um, how long have we been on? Ooh, we are five minutes short of two hours. Chad, I am going to be doing a gaming stream tonight. I have to run to the store before I can do a gaming stream, though. Have to, have to. I've got some things I need to get. Um, there are 40 of you here. Holy cow, 40 and 31 likes. I really appreciate that. Uh, Watcher, say hi to Mr. Cunning. You mean you, Mr. Hunter Cunning? I, I mean, hello, Miss... Oh, say hi to Mrs. Cunning. Well, hello, Mrs. Cunning. It's a pleasure to meet you, but not really meet you. Uh, so here's the thing, guys. I'm going to be chilling tonight. I think I'm going to dual stream on Twitch and here. Um, but I am going to make it a separate stream, right? So that it's not... Uh, so that if you're just here for the gaming, you don't have to watch through the entire news read that I just did in order to get to the gaming content. Uh, I'd appreciate it if all you guys came, but uh, what game? That's a great question. Uh, I'm going to run to the store, but I'm going to post a poll on my Twitter page that you may vote on. Uh, it will be open for precisely one hour, and uh, and then we'll decide what we're going to play tonight. We could do Mech Warrior 5. We could do Banner Lord, which would uh, we could start a brand new game in Banner Lord. That'd be a good time. Uh, we could do Timberborn, which is uh, we play as beavers and we're. Uh, building a house 
Uh, play that new cat game. I don't even know what you're talking about there. Um, we could do Blood Bowl, which is a lot of fun. Or we could keep playing Cyberpunk. Yeah, any of those would work, guys. I'd be happy with any of those. Uh, I will strip down some options. I'm going to create the poll. In fact, I'll, let me do this. Before I leave to go to the store, I'm going to make this poll real quick. What game am I playing tonight? What game am I playing tonight? Question mark. And then your poll options chat will go Cyberpunk. We'll go Bannerlord. We'll go Medieval Destiny. What's my Twitch? Uh, I think it's Twitch TV slash the Watcher on the Web. Let me let me grab it for you real quick before we go anywhere. Yeah, twitch.tv slash dull watcher on the web. I will I will post that in the chat. Empire Total War. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. If I was going to get a Total War game, I would be getting um, uh, 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 Total War Hammer. But it's kind of expensive. Cards Against Humanity. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, should the Greenwood Mall Shooter get any money, I will lose my shit. Have they actually started raising money for him? I will, I will also lose my shit. Um, anyhow, uh, Cyberpunk, Mech Warrior, uh, Banner Lord, or what's my fourth chat? What's my or? So, how do I twist your arm into ready or not? What's ready or not? Also, uh, Stenkira, welcome, welcome, Stenkira. Ready or not? Let me see. I've literally never heard of this game. Let me see what it is and how expensive it is. Ready or Not is an intense tactical first-person shooter that depicts a modern-day world in which SWAT police units are called to defuse hostile and confronting situations. Huh. Well, I mean, I, I could think about it. How much is this? 40 bucks? It's not in the budget right now, but uh, I, if people start playing it, I'll look into it. Um, as far as like FPS games go, oh, I guess I guess we should put Fallout on there, huh? We can always start a Fallout playthrough. I do not mind uh, playing Fallout. A tactical shooter. Uh, I don't really want to play a tactical shooter tonight, guys. Um, I don't think I have any downloaded right now either. Let me take a look through my library. Like, I have some that I have. I just don't think I have any downloaded. I'd love to play Space Marine. I would really, really like to play Space Marine. It's just expensive, chat. It's like 50 bucks, I think. It's an older game, too, and they're about to release the new one. So... You know what? We could also do Far Cry. Do you guys want to see Far Cry? No, I'd have to download it. I'd have to download it. I have all the Far Cries, though, if you guys ever want to want. We could do a Far Cry just fucking all the way through. Um, just dropped in to see what condition your condition was in. Ooh. Red Dead. I have Red Dead, but I don't think it's downloaded. Let me check Rockstar real quick. Let me check the Rockstar game launcher and see if Red Dead is. If Red Dead is, I'll put it on the list. Because I have been meaning to do a Red Dead 2 playthrough with you guys. Uh, <coughs> to be honest, <coughs> I started doing one so that Mrs. Watcher could see. Because the stories are really good and I thought Mrs. Watcher would appreciate it. And then we got about halfway through and I was like, God damn it, I should have been recording this. Because this would be good content. And so uh, I, 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 we stopped... And now I'm planning on, because uh, I've never I've never played it all the way through. I got the farthest I've ever got with Mrs. Watcher, and we got to I'll just say we got to an island, um, but not off of that island. 
Hold on, Social Club has the, uh, the Rockstar Social Club has to update, and then I'll tell you if Red Dead's an option. It takes so fucking long, though. Guys, it takes so fucking long to download. War of Rights? Rising Storm Vietnam? I don't have that one yet. Super Mario 64? I'm down for some classics. I don't have an emulator set up, though. Heard they might be making a third one soon. I hope so, Buzz. Give me a second. I can't remember if I got rid of Red Dead or not. I think I probably did, chat. So we'd have to re-download it, and that's going to take, like, eight hours. Um... I've never played Arma. Do you guys want to struggle? You guys want to watch me struggle through playing Arma for the first time? Because I got it on a sale. It's Arma Three. I've never ever played it before. I know it's quite old. Um, that's the only real shooter I have. But you're just gonna watch me just struggle through being an absolute fucking dumbass. Hold on, Chad. I have to open up my fucking password manager on my other screen. I might also, I might not be able to play it this way, chat. Depends on how I, uh, on how it displays my username on Rockstar, because I did not set up my Rockstar with privacy in mind. I'll just put it that way. Squad is better than Arma? You're right, but Squad wasn't on sale for $3. And Arma was. All right, Chad, I don't have Red Dead installed, so Red Dead's off the list. Uh, let me go through some other ones that I've got, and you guys can... I'll let you guys pick this third option yourselves. Uh, we can do Fallout New Vegas, because that's the one I have installed. Um, I can get 4 installed, but probably not by the time we got to go live. So forget about that one. Uh, Mountain Blade Bannerlord 2, that's already on the list, though. Um... Uh, Strong Bad, uh, Homestar Runner's cool game for, Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people. Sunless Seas, I love Sunless Seas, but I, it's not a tactical shooter, but fuck, I love that game. Um, it's kind of it, guys. I, I've moved a lot of shit off of my computer to make room for some really large games, and those are kind of what's taking up my space right now. We can do Skyrim. I would totally start a Skyrim playthrough. Should we start a Skyrim playthrough? I'm gonna put Skyrim on the list. I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it without asking you guys. But. See ya on CFC 9 a.m. Monday. All right, Rick, I guess you're not watching the gaming tonight, but I'll see you then, man. Mrs. Cunning is a huge Strong Bad fan. Good, so is Mrs. Watcher. Uh, Watcher, how can you rig your vote if you hadn't made the polls yet? I know, right? Europeans are implying that hot temps cause fires. Yeah, we went over that. It was hilarious. Speak on the city of London. I did, PD. Rewind. Rewind and you will find it. I spoke to the fires in the city of London and how I think it's BS. Um, all right, guys, I'm just going to pick Blood Bowl. We're going to put Blood Bowl on there because it's a lot of fun and I wouldn't mind playing that one. Um, Blood Bowl 2. There you go. Uh, I'm going to send you guys a link to this. You guys can vote on it. I'll see what you guys voted when I get back from the store. Um, I'll create the link when I get back from the store and not before. I'll do it both on Twitch and here. We'll see how that goes. Um... Remember, once you guys pick the game, I still have to make a thumbnail. So if you guys could could get your votes in and get an overwhelming... Why no Scrabble? I don't want to play Scrabble. That's why. Scrabble's gay! Alright, 